In January, John Welker approached Arts ATL and told us about this project and asked if we would like to embed a writer and follow them through the process of creating their dance company. And it's been a fascinating process to watch them birth a new dance company in Atlanta. The fascinating thing about this is before they even perform, this is already maybe the second most prominent dance company in Atlanta because the five dancers are probably the most well-known dancers in the city. They have instant star power. Because of our experience here on the stages of Atlanta, people recognize us, people know us. And one of the main reasons, like, if we call Atlanta home and people know us, it's begging for an opportunity to be seized upon. Let's create something here, create work, let's do something together that we hope will bring Atlanta into uh, a new realm of, of cultural prominence. I've danced with John Welker for over 20 years, so we've been co-artists together for a long time, doing other people's work and doing things other people's ways and learning that. So fast forward to the last year or so and conversations naturally come up when you're at um, crossroads in your life as an artist and you start to get to a point where you can't really deny that it should happen. We're starting a new company. How many people get to say that? It's fortunate, lucky, and exciting, and all the, all the exclamation words uh, to be surrounded by people that understand that responsibility, respect it. That's a treat. Timing-wise, I think it's ideal for all of us. We're all kind of in our prime, but also at the same time finding new voices. And I think that's what's most exciting. Like, we know we, we can dance. We've got that, but like it's discovering everyone's new voices that, and we're ready for that. On stage, you have that trust. I mean, I know that if I go on stage with Heath or with Tara or Rachel or John, that they're gonna be there. And if something goes wrong, that we're gonna fix it together. But from the, the business side of things, it's been very interesting to work with them and find that that same trust is still there in all of the other facets of what we're doing. And you know, we have, we're learning a lot as we go, but that the trust is the sort of the common thread that stays with us. And it's, thank God we have that because you can't, it's hard to function without it, you know? Terminus, um, somewhat historical to the city because of um, the railroad and the end point meeting, uh, stopping point of the literal railroad that um, ended in Atlanta, but it also, for us, it symbolically means um, intersection and the meeting point of um, ideas, people, places. In the name, Modern Ballet Theater, so that encompasses a lot. There'll be a wide variety of works that we present, but um, more than sort of pegging down one genre of dance that we want to perform and do, I, I'm really excited to get out and listen to what the community wants and hear what people have to say. But definitely contemporary modern dance with some elements of classical ballet, which is where our roots sort of all started, was in the, that classicism. So we want to mold with the community and with the times and, and adjust in that way. I am so thrilled at what we can accomplish together. I am, I, I'm over the moon but I am terrified each day. <laughs> I'm very motivated, you could say. <laughs> you know, I, one of the things I've been thinking about and, and, and what this company is and what we represent and what we can accomplish together, it's this very real and constant fear of failure. So, um, as I said, it's, it's an incredibly invigorating um, because it really pushes you and motivates you to really seek new ways of thinking and, and uh, new ways of uh, realizing what is opportunity. From watching them over the past few months, they have a vision that goes beyond what they were doing with Atlanta Ballet over the last five or ten years. They really want to find their own voice and experiment. And one thing they say is part of their journey is discovering who they are as artists. You're just wearing so many different hats now. I mean, we're learning how to design websites and we're learning about how to build a stage and flooring options and marketing and branding. Um, but 
we all welcome the challenge. I mean, it's, you know, it's great. I, I'm learning new things every day and I, I embrace that and I love it. I'm thrilled. Um, I'm scared, terrified, but it's like balanced with the biggest highs at the same time. You know, you think about all the risks involved and all of that, the realities, but it doesn't even compare to how excited I am about moving forward. It's interesting to feel very calm about it. <laughs> There's a certain confidence about it that we all have. I don't know why, because this should be a very terrifying moment for us, <laughs> you know, to start something. But we all, I think, have very epic ideas about what it's going to be. And for some reason, it just feels like, okay, let's do it. Originally, they were going to be based at the Westside Cultural Arts Center, but three or four weeks ago, they were contacted by Serenby Institute with an invitation to join them and go under Serenby's umbrella. And that's really a game changer for them because it gives them a lot of infrastructure in terms of health insurance, grant applications, marketing, and it's really been something that has lifted up the company and is going to be very important for their survival. I'm not sure this is going to work or anything that we do is going to work. One thing that, I, that I've known, not because I planned it, but because I find myself looking back and thinking, this is what we've prepared for. But even that, there are no promises. So everything that we do together, we do as a team. We succeed together and we fail together. 